Today, we are going to show how to use Video Solo DVD Copy, to back up a DVD. Video Solo DVD Copy, can directly copy DVD to DVD disc, copy DVD to ISO and folder, or burn DVD ISO and folder to DVD disc. So, how to copy from disc to disc? There are two cases. If you have two DVD drives, you can insert the source DVD in one drive, insert the destination DVD in another drive, and then burn disc to disc. If you only have one drive, you will need to insert source DVD, make a disc image on your computer first, insert destination DVD, and then burn the image file to disc. Given that most people are in the second case, we will focus on this in the next. Step 1. Insert the DVD that you want to copy, into the computer DVD drive. After that, launch Video Solo DVD Copy, a window will pop up and ask if you want to load the disc automatically. Click on Yes, and wait a few seconds. Step 2. You can see there are three modes, Full Copy, Main Movie, and Customize. Under the Full Copy mode, the program will auto-select all the titles, chapters, and audios, you can't uncheck them. Jump to the Main Movie mode, the program has auto-select the main DVD movie. You can't change the subtitles or audios too. Coming to the Customize mode, you can freely select which title you want to copy, and customize the subtitle and audio for each title. You may have noticed that there is a preview window. Click the play button to view the DVD title at any time. Step 3. I go back to the full copy mode. Now it's time to select the target. Select ISO or folder as the target are both fine. DVD 9 can hold at least 8.5 GB, that's nearly two times larger than DVD 5. If your source DVD disc is a DVD 9, but you only have DVD 5 disc that is available, you will need to select the target size as D5, like me. You can clearly know this is a DVD 9 disc in the source size bar. Step 5 Click on the next button and then click on start to copy. After done, the file is already on your computer. Step 6, insert the destination disk to the DVD drive. Relaunch the program. Select the ISO file as the source and select the DVD drive as the target. Step 7, start to burn your ISO or folder to a blank DVD disc. If it is not blank, the program will give you a notification. You can choose to continue the backup process, so Video Solo DVD copy will erase your rewritable disc for burning new DVD. The burning process is really fast. About 20 minutes, you can get a DVD backup. Thanks for watching.